Minecraft has had 15 years of free development. You should appreciate what we have. That comment is a familiar sight if you have been in the Minecraft community for the past couple of years. It is practically on any post or video that criticizes the development of Minecraft. And I want to dive into this as this simple phrase has been a part of the Minecraft community for a few years now and I want to discuss it so let's talk about it. So where does this phrase originate from? Well like most things to do with Minecraft development it originated from 2023 Minecraft Live and it's mob vote because well so many people were criticizing so it became a discussion well shouldn't we just be appreciative that we've got free development for 14 years? And safe to say, that didn't go down very well in some cases. But why now only bring it up? It's nearly 2025. It's nearly two years later. Well, the other day I released a video discussing how poorly Bedrock had been treated over the past seven years of existence. And funny enough, I got one of these comments. And I deleted it because I couldn't be asked to argue with this person because they were being very unreasonable. But it got me thinking. Should we just be happy because, well, we have had 15 years of free support and some people have to pay $15.99 for free professional wrestlers on a yearly game. So in that context, it's a really good deal. you got free updates for the past 15 years. All for the price of the base game. You don't have to pay any additional money. Let's take a closer look at the updates. Well, in the past couple of years, only dating back to 2022, out of my own knowledge, we have had the Xbox nonsense that corrupted millions of worlds more recently biomes turning into oceans for a few hours a bug that literally wiped every mob out of the world if they were in the wrong chunk when you logged out the world and i well i could go on and on and on but of course in the same time span we've had things like the warden added things like pink trees and cool things like that so yes the good mostly does outweigh the negative but this phrase outlines a wider issue that every time you criticize minecraft it is like you've just committed some sort of felony and you deserve to be thrown down a well and never seen again but this phrase seems like a political slogan that could be slapped on a hat and made into a group of people that defend the game to their last breath and while i completely agree with being a critic of someone else's work or someone else's video, especially if they're just outright wrong or pushing their opinion in such a way that it just seems a bit silly. But it seems for some, being a critic of Minecraft in any way is utterly outrageous and you deserve a life sentence for it. And I just think it's completely ridiculous. Especially this phrase because, well, if we look at another popular game in Fortnite, well, they have a whole new fucking game engine every bloody year and the game's free and you don't even have to purchase anything to play it. So using these people's logic, the people that play the game and they no longer like the game and they want to criticize the game, well, they're not allowed because it's a free product and you can't criticize a free product, especially if it's being updated for free because it's free. And how dare you have an opinion on something that's free? You don't deserve an opinion unless you pay for something. See, using that logic, it just sounds completely irrational and it doesn't sound fair at all because even if something's free, you have the right to criticize something, especially if it breaks the game. Put a comment down your opinion. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you enjoyed this form of content, consider subscribing. But thank you for watching and goodbye.